King of the Land versus Queen of the Skies. Another day, another death match between two of history's super predators. Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to answer an array of weird and wonderful queries. Sometimes we talk about science, sometimes we talk about history, politics, pop culture. But at the moment, we are talking all about the long dead ancient killers from the animal kingdom fighting. Why? Because you guys seem to really be into it. What can I say? Before we get right on into this video, why don't you guys let me know if you're Team Bird or Team Tiger? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Also, while you're down there, why don't you like this video and share it with a friend? Also, I don't know if you know this, but in the description box, there are links to all kinds of things down there, including my own channel, to the social media accounts of our fantastic creative teams. Also, if you ever want to learn more about a topic, we have linked all of our sources in the description box. All right. Let's do this. Terror bird. I mean, it has the word terror in its name. Yeah, I'm scared. Officially called the Phorosaacids. I may not have said that right. Let's just stick with terror bird. Terror birds were the top predator in South America for nearly 60 million years before they died out 2.5 million years ago. The biggest breed of terror bird were the Titanus. They were as fast as an ostrich and had insanely powerful feet, as well as some kind of cross between a pickaxe and a meat cleaver for a beak. These killing machines were 3 meters tall and weighed 150 kilograms. These birds were killing machines that killed in a number of brutal ways. They would stab prey in the back of the head from a height. They would also use their feet as weapons to kick and stamp and hold things down as they pecked prey to death. In some instances, they would also pick up some prey with their beaks and smash them repeatedly on the ground till they died. Anyone feeling great about the terror birds? So, how did these killing machines even die out if they were so powerful. When the land bridge was created in Central America, terror birds were one of the species that migrated in the Great American Interchange. They actually started meeting the saber toothed cats, which led to competition for prey, although it is thought the final nail in the coffin was climate change. Saber toothed tigers aren't actually related to tigers that we know today, but they were insane killer cats. They primarily lived in North America, but they also made it across. South America when the land bridge formed. The saber tooths lived from 2.5 million years ago to 10,000 years ago, with their reign on Earth much shorter than the terror birds, although more recent. These frightening predators did actually cross over with the terror birds, albeit briefly, so maybe they did meet and fight. The saber tooths were smaller in terms of height than the tall terror birds. They were around 1.2 meters in length, although they were weightier at around 400 kilos. We we already know how terror birds fight, but what about the saber tooths? Well, these fast, agile killers would stalk and ambush their prey, biting them with their huge 28 centimeter long fangs as they held them down with their paws and bit them. There is probably one question on everyone's lips ahead of the fight. Terror birds, can they fly? Sadly for their top trump card, they can't, which actually really evens up the fight. We know that both animals were fast, but the tiger did have the edge in the weight division. Who would have had an early advantage would depend on who attacked first. The tiger could launch at the bird and take it down with a hard, powerful bite to the leg, and it probably could hold the much lighter bird down with its paws. As it delivered powerful, sharp death blows through the bird's flesh, it could probably hold on to the bird. On the other hand, the terror bird could run at the tiger, smashing its skull with succinct, powerful blows to the back of the head as it looms above, pecking. It could not use its pickup and smash technique as the saber tooth would simply be too heavy for the bird, and usually they hunted much smaller animals when killing. Of course, it's worth mentioning here that the pair would not usually fight as they would prey on smaller animals as it is, they're much easier to kill. While these two apex predators seem quite evenly matched, I have to say I'm leaning towards the saber tooth being the victor here in a one on one match. However, there is one big advantage the terror bird has. While the saber tooth was a solitary predator, the terror bird was thought to hunt in packs, using low frequency communications to talk with one another, talk to their terror bird mates. Like in life, having friends is a bit of a game changer. In a group, the terror birds could easily destroy the solitary saber tooth, but is one against three fair? So guys, that is what I think would happen if the saber tooth and the terror bird fought. What do you think to this? Did your team win? Who would you like us to play off against one another next? 
next? Let me know in the comments section down below. So while you're down there, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and check out all the links in our description box. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, stay curious, stay alert and never ever stop questioning. Oh, 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 oh,